Have you had problems with your lenses and filters fogging up? Um, not while I've been out here, no. Really? Yeah. Every single, with the exception of the Fuji, every single f thing has fogged up. Okay, so we've woken up to this absolutely superb scene this morning. Uh, we've got a little bit of mist just down there in the valley and it really, really adds to the image. It really does. Um, and as you can see, there's a little bit just down there as well. So, yeah. So composition on this, um, I've just come, kind of gone for the straightforward one really. And just using the uh, the way the mist is, we've got a little bit down there and we've got a little bit further up there. So I'm just using that as um, kind of its leading line, that that valley floor is its, as its leading line. So you, you're going from this mist in the, in the foreground just down here, then you're going into the mid-ground towards the, uh, the mist there and then over towards the, the far background. And it, oh, it looks superb. It really does. Um, so it seems to be hanging around over the water mainly. That's why this is probably a little bit thinner. Um, and then just there um, is Luffery Tarn. So that's why that's kind of hanging over there because it's just there's a tarn there. And I mentioned Luffery Tarn um, in a previous video. And normally the uh, popular images of Luffery Tarn normally have a little bit of mist around them. So and it always always really really adds to it so it looks great and then just beyond that um, which is in that direction there is Windermere and that's why we've got a little bit of low mist over there so yeah it's uh, it really 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 kind of adds to it uh, in this image so the settings on this camera um, I'm just kind of periodically taking pictures. Um, we're at uh, two second exposure at the minute. Uh, just waiting for that sun to rise, just to kind of give us a little bit more color over in this direction. And it's starting to, now it's starting to improve. And we've got the better color behind us, but that's not where the mist is. <laughs> so yeah, just hopefully gonna get a little bit more color with a bit of luck. So I've got the 0.9 soft edge grad on there just to keep the detail in the sky. And then we've also got the polarizer as well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, gonna help us no end. Um, the midges are a pain in the backside this morning. Really, really are. I've even put insect repellent on. I might even have to go crack up the midge net, I think. Um, okay, so doing a time lapse now I'm hoping that this time lapse is going to capture all of that movement of the of the cloud so yeah that's going to hopefully work really well so settings on this so I've kind of gone for my normal go-to shooting settings which is f8 minus one on the exposure compensation auto shutter speed ISO 200 and uh, we've got a cloudy white balance and the focus is set to manual. And once that was, once we got the sharpest point, we just set it to manual. Um, because the problem is, if you don't set it to manual, 
um, it will try and focus each image and then it looks like the image is, is kind of moving so or the time lapse is moving so yeah it's not uh, you don't really want that to happen so make sure that you set that to manual and I've set it up to do uh, 300 images at seven seconds apart so and hopefully that's just going to capture all of that mist moving around um, this mist just down here kind of comes and goes so but yeah it looks really really nice yeah so it's a it's a lovely scene this morning it really is so okay so i'm gonna wait around and see what uh this sun does and see if we get some more color So I waited till the sun come up and we managed to get a little bit more colour in the, in the sky in the end. Um, Chris is now with me. Say hello Chris. Hello. He's a little bit more awake now. Slightly now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly. So um, yeah, Chris has joined me up on, uh, up on the top here uh, now and uh, we've just been taking a few images. I did also get out the um, 70 to 200 lens just to kind of pick out the odd bit of detail where the um, cloud was shrouding the the trees down there and just picking out little bits of detail um, so I'm gonna see how they work um, I won't really know until we'll get those uh, back home and get them in Photoshop and just have a look uh, but yeah been a been a really great morning oh also what I did is also done a long exposure um, so I've got out my big stopper and I did a long exposure of this uh, cloud kind of moving through the valley so and at one point it almost looked like a river it looked really really good so I had that on about a two minute exposure in the end and um, I still dropped in the uh, soft edge grads as well just to keep retain that detail in the sky but uh, yeah it looks really really good um, still got a time lapse going at the minute. I've kind of been resetting that, so it's on its uh, third run. So I'll probably end up with about 900 images in the end, but I'll just probably break the time lapse down um, into probably two or three. But um, I'm really excited to see how that turns out. So, so did you get some good images, Chris? I think so, I've just been viewing them back now and yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. I'm usually quite hard on myself and I'm always like, ah, oh, these are rubbish, but no, I'm, I'm quite happy on this occasion. I think I think we've been blessed by the conditions this yeah. morning. I think it's been- Yeah, it's beautiful, been really nice. Really, really good. Yeah. And, and that is the benefits of wild camping as well, you know, when you can just wake up, fall out your tent and, and you wake up to something like this and it's superb, it really, really is. Um, so Chris, Second time while camping now? Um, did you have you done it previously? I I done it once before on a kayaking trip, but that was a group trip. Right. Okay. And uh, 
we had our all our camping equipment in the in the kayak, so we weren't. Oh, okay. It, um, it oh, brilliant. A bit different. Yeah. Yeah. But Excellent. Yeah, this is my second time wild camping in in the lakes and that. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. So, so yeah, so Chris is pretty much a newbie, I suppose, and you know, I think you've uh, you, you're learning some stuff now, aren't you? Uh, I think you've realised how how heavy your bag is. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. When yeah. you're first, coming on a long time, Yeah, first time I've done it, I greatly underestimated how much more difficult it would be with a backpack on my bag. That makes a big difference. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit more used to it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Um, I think Chris felt a little bit better when he felt my bag because uh, my bag was um, quite a bit heavier. Yeah. So uh, I think you felt a little bit more better about yourself <laughs> when you felt the weight of my bag. Yeah, yeah. I thought mine was heavy until I lifted yours. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, been a really, really great morning this morning. Um, I think we're just going to probably finish off here and then probably go back to the tent and probably get some breakfast on the go breakfast sounds good <laughs> breakfast sounds good chris <laughs> agrees so yeah we'll get some breakfast on the go um and have uh have something to drink we'll get a coffee on the go as well and and just uh kind of enjoy the rest of these views Okay, so that's us about done here for today. Uh, we've had a superb morning this morning, um, and we had a we had a great night last night too. So, you know, it was um, it was really good. It was great meeting Chris as well. Um, uh, so don't forget to go and uh, check Chris's channel out. I'll pop uh, the link just up here um, to his channel, and I'll probably um, pop the link to his video of this video into into the description or maybe put it on the end screen or something like that so um but yeah uh what a fantastic morning though um the mist really really made it this morning uh it really really did and it's it's really nice to see um i would like a proper cloud inversion that's what i want i really want a proper cloud inversion but you know 
I'll play the waiting game on that one. So, guys, if you've liked this video, um, please give us a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to leave a comment, then please leave a comment in the comment box below and uh, leave some feedback if you wish. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, um, yeah, so until next time. But I'd like to know that soon And it's time